for the floor up in here, Local H. This is a really cool song, um, got really popular for a while, and you know, kind of within the whole uh, grunge genre that I love. But anyway, it's a very, very simple bass line. I mean, one bass line runs through the whole song pretty much. Um, so it's very, very simple. You're gonna be able to play it with your buddies or along with the song, no problem. And um, you're gonna love it. It is very, very fun to play. Anyway, I am Finbar of Finbar Bass. All right, so if you haven't clicked on the link right down there in the YouTube text box, one of those links is gonna bring you to uh, some lessons that aren't on uh, YouTube at all. You can only get it by clicking that link right down there. There's a beginner lesson, a um, intermediate lesson, advanced lesson, so somebody for everybody. So if you haven't clicked on that, click on that. Also down there, there is a link um, that'll send you over to my Epic Beginner Bass uh, DVD set that I'm really excited about. Um, that's all complete. It's up there. It's good. So if you, you know, this is you're very much a beginner on the bass, um, you're gonna love it. If you've been playing for a while, um, there's some great stuff in there for you too. So definitely check those out. All right. So the main jam in this song, what you're gonna be doing is you're on the um, fourth fret of the. E and by the way, a lot of the tabs for this song are really really wrong. I mean, I'm no tab police or, you know, a uh, tab lawyer whatsoever. You know, I think everybody should play anything however they want, however it makes them happy. But some of these tabs are really wrong. Some tabs that you find online for this song, uh-uh. They're, they're not even close. <laughs> so anyway, here's my interpretation of it. Uh, yeah, start on the fourth fret of the E string. And this is a very staccato bass line. It's played very in, in these little short bursts of notes and it goes along really well with what the drummer's doing and what the singer's doing too. So that's something to remember. You don't want to you don't want to play it uh, very uh, melodically like that. Very staccato. You're on the fourth fret of the E string. Hit it once, against, again, and then twice. Right, it's the fourth right here. And then you're gonna go, just for a second, you're gonna go down to the second fret of the E string. Just, just you don't even need to, but just to get into the uh, second fret of the A string, right there, see it? So on this A string on the second fret, you're gonna hit. Right, so you're gonna hit once, twice, two more times, and then once more. And then again, you can hit, this is almost like a ghost note. You almost don't even hear it, but just go down to the first fret then of the A string before you go into the second fret, right, of the, uh, of the E string. So if I, if I play that together how it is, I'll do it slow. Right, and then you're on the second fret of the E string. You're gonna hit once, twice, and then twice, right? Then you're gonna go down to this, this is the transitional note right here, the fourth fret of the E string before you go to the fourth fret of the, um, of the A. So that all together. Right, and then on this fourth fret, you're gonna hit once and then twice, right? And then what you could do, this is really cool, is um, right, to get it back around, it's like a turnaround to come back to uh, start the uh, run again. What I'm doing there is I'm hitting the second fret of the E, right here, first fret of the A, so you got second fret of the A, first fret of the A again, and then second fret of the E. That's what it's gonna sound like. So if I played that all all together kind of slow. Just like that. And if you don't want to do that, sometimes you'll you'll be all right, see that? So you're gonna hit the fourth fret three times. 
and then bring it down to the second fret of the A to get it back into the run again. That'll sound like, um, I'll just play it from here. And then you're back into the run again. And then the chorus plays pretty much the, uh, the, the same thing that you just played there. You could do a little flourishes if you want. You know, something like that where that's the first part. Instead of going, uh, you know, to the second fret of the E, go to the first fret of the A. Instead of doing that. Right? Right? And then at the end of that, you can go, which is first fret of the A, second fret, then back to the first, and then to the second fret of the E. Right? Just like that. And then in a break, really, uh, what you could do is just hang on the E string and just keep sliding all around on the E string, right? It's real simple. You start on the fourth fret. Uh, this is a very easy song, like I said. Fourth fret of the uh, E string. Right, you're gonna hit that eight times and then you're gonna slide uh, to the seventh fret of the E string. Hit that eight times, then the second fret and then up to the ninth fret. So that'll look like this. And go back again. And you could you could jazz that up. You can start playing octaves if you want. Just like that. And an octave. Whoop. All I'm doing there is, you know, while you're hitting that note, the, the root, right, like this is the fourth fret of the E string, hit its octave right over here. So an octave is, if, you're, if this is your root on the E string, you just go up two strings and down two frets, or up two frets, you might, whatever way you're looking at it. Uh, and that's an octave. And that shape, right, I've said this before in a bunch of other videos, that shape right there, you can move that. Anywhere you want, that's always going to be an octave on a bass guitar, not on a regular guitar. So <clears throat> you could just something like that. All right, you got it, local H yo. Little bit of the old grunge horrific up in here. Anyway, um, don't forget, click on the YouTube text box right down there to get those. Lessons, if you haven't got those yet, they are not on YouTube and they are just for you. Other than that, please do click and uh, swing over to Amazon to uh, pick up my um, Epic Beginner Bass 5 DVD set if you want. Very cool for, you know, if you haven't ever even picked up a bass guitar before, but obviously you have because you just did this video. <laughs> or if you um, have been playing for a while, you know, go over there, check out the reviews on it and pick that up if you want. Subscribe to Finbar Bass if you want to get these videos um, and you'll always know when new ones come out. And that's really cool because there's a lot of different things on there. Other than that, um, have fun with that, yo.